And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, obviously we're going to do a lot of talking about billfish tonight, but we're going to start the night uh, going through our meat fish awards. Um, back, I can remember watching this fish get unloaded, uh, the heaviest shark of the year. Uh, the crew of the All In, Curtis May, Hummer, Captain Chad Meeks, 471 pound meat. Yeah, we do. Uh, the heaviest wahoo of the year it was caught pretty early. It was one of the first wahoos. 75 pounds caught aboard the Bills for Bills of uh, Captain Mike Conner. <laughs> heaviest dolphin, big fish this year, uh, 56 pounds aboard the American Lady, Captain Marsden Jones, and also in fact, no Marsden's here. Okay, um, talking about big fish, we now have the heaviest tuna caught aboard the Marley, 211 pounds. Got Mark Hughes and Brian Hoyt. Okay, uh, moving on to, now we get into some numbers here. Uh, the, we switched things up this year to kind of spread the love at the Marlin Club, so we have three places in all the total fish caught categories. Uh, coming in third place for the most tuna caught by a private boat, we have the Brenda Lou, Captain Frank Goodhart. Right here. Okay, in second place, I'm not sure. Do we have anyone from the Canyon Hunter crew here? Anyone from the Canyon Hunter? Mike Baum? Here? Go ahead, Larry. You're going to accept the trophy. Okay. Well, uh, moving up into first place in most tuna caught by a private boat, um, the Miss Emily, 29 tunas. Uh, Captain Frank Pivot, I know he's here. Okay, moving into most tuna caught by a charter boat. Uh, third place, we had the Real Chaos. We have Anthony, anybody from the Real Chaos here? Once, twice, I didn't pick this one, Okay, now this one, uh, this was also a very heated competition and it came down to the last couple days of fishing. Um, and it gives me great pleasure to bring up my Vice President, Captain Mark Radcliffe from the Fish Bows. 43 minutes. And, um, now, the, the, there, was, there was a bit of a jump up to first place here for the, I guess, sixth or seventh year in a row now. We have most tuna caught by a charter boat, the Marley, 180 fish. Uh, it, it can't start without the first one, and we have uh, the first white model of the season was caught aboard the uh, Bimini 24, Captain Dan Clayland, Eric Van Orden was the angler. Uh, the first blue marlin of the season uh, caught aboard the stress relief on the same day, actually a couple hours before the first white. Uh, owner Tom Dickinson, Captain Brandon Spielman. I know the stress relief crew is here somewhere. The most blue marlin released by any boat, and this was a tie broken category because we had several boats with three fish. But uh, Bill Fisher crew caught their last one first. So uh, three blue marlins. Bill Fisher, Duffy finally. Okay, and um, now for an incredibly big number. Uh, the most Bill Fisher leads by a charter boat, of course, the crew of the Bill Fisher. 266. Uh, most Bill Fish released in one day by a private boat. Um, I was out there watching this happen. It was an incredible thing. Uh, 30 white marlins, real joy. Captain Dale and crew. <laughs> And you know, again, can't say enough about the billfisher season. Uh, most billfish released in one day by a charter boat, and a record for the most ever in a day by anyone in Maryland, most of the East Coast. Uh, just incredible. 57 white marlin. <laughs> look down and realize that, again, most billfish released by any boat, 266, or the billfisher. Come back. It's all good if you all move around. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> uh, we start with the top junior anglers. Uh, in third place, the 10 white marlin release. Not sure if we have any here, but Adam Moore caught on the Moore Bills at 10 white marlin for junior angler. Also, I believe most of them are one day. Anyone here from the Moore Bills? Okay, well, 
I know this next junior angler is here. He's the biggest junior angler we have. With 18 point Marlin, Jimmy Roberts the third aboard the Red Eye. And in first place is our top junior angler. Somewhere he, I know he worked almost every day all summer long. Somewhere he found some time to get out fishing. And uh, we have Spencer Cropper with a 20 white Marlin. In the gentleman angler category, uh, now I know our third place angler is not here, but I heard that we we're going to get Bill Fenwick to stand in and superimpose that. Maybe uh, Jeremy Duffy on the third place. We can do it. Uh, in second place, uh, I'm not sure if he's here or not, but from the legacy, Jeff Lesson, 47 White Marlins. I don't think I saw him. Okay, and uh, again, no stranger to awards here, and uh, always in the hunt for the. You know, top gentleman angler, we have Ed Dunn from the DAC, 74. In the top lady angler category, now, uh, I don't know if everyone knows this, but we do a lot of checks and balances on the catch reports as they come in. And our third place angler's name was all over catch reports on a daily basis. I don't know how many she wound in total, but self-hooked fish. Vicki Roberts on the red eye, 22 white marlins, and I know she caught at least that many more. Uh, and our top lady angler of the year, uh, she did an incredible job, put a lot of time in. 52 white marlins, well, 52 billfish, I'm not sure if they're all white marlins. Susan McCart on Real Joy. Yeah. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Sunset Grill, a cool Caribbean atmosphere. A unique dining or social experience overlooking the water. Freshly prepared entrees and appetizers for every palate. Casual dining in a fun atmosphere. Relax in our comfortable, elegant lounges with your special libation. Sunset Grill, a place to relax and enjoy. Worcester County, located on Maryland's eastern shore, is Maryland's only seaside county known for Ocean City's clean sandy beaches, outdoor recreation, steamed crabs, and the famous wild ponies on Assateague Island's national and state seashore parks. Worcester County has everything to offer from its historical towns to Ocean City filled with a three-mile boardwalk, amusement parks for the family, and its wonderful lifeguarded beaches. And for all the fishermen out there, OC is home to the richest fishing tournament in the world and is the White Marlin capital of the world. Visit Worcester County and discover its wonders. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fields, President and CEO of Tournament Yacht Sales. We are your full service yacht brokerage. Whether it's buying or selling your new or used custom or production boat, we have the sales staff that can assist you in any of your boating needs. Whether it be finding a captain, a mate, moving your boat up and down the coast, or selling. We have locations in Florida, Maryland, North Carolina, and Delaware. We can be reached on the web at www.tournamentyachtsales.com or 1-866-NEW-YACHT. <laughs> 